In this training video, we're going to look at creating testing areas for formulas for conditional formatting. So here we've got one example where there's a testing area here for red and a yellow and a green color according to certain scenarios. And this formula is now which have tested it. Now, for example, if I look at the green test, the formula is testing whether cell B4 is, is greater than cell B3 plus a 25% increase on cell B3. So it's B3 plus an extra 25%. Well, this says false. Now, when you get true and false results, this is all you need to copy into conditional formatting formulas. So you can test quite complex formulas to get a true or false result and then these can be copied to apply the color coding to an area of the spreadsheet where we want to apply color coding. Now, for example, if I look at the true one, the yellow color, it's saying and it's testing two areas. Is B4 greater than or equal to B3 plus a 70% increase of the target? So the target is 25%. So plus a plus 70% of the of the 25% target. And is B4 less than B3 plus B3 times the actual target itself? Now that's saying true. So by getting these formula results working in a true and false way, you can then copy these results into where you want to apply the formatting. So let's just try the two we've looked at. So I look at the green one first. I can copy this formula. So I can highlight the formula in the formula bar. And I can either copy or use Control C. So I'll just copy it. Now I'll just press Escape to come out to the formula. Go into highlight the area that I want to apply the green to. So I want to see whether the green affects any of these cells for the for their months of the year. So where it becomes greater than 100% of the target increase. I'm going to say, show me the green color. So I can go to a new rule, formula, use control V to paste in. So there's the formula I just copied, which is now come from a test area. I want to format that green color like I can see it. So I'll go for the full green. There it is. Okay. Once more. And there we go. We see the green test now is showing us where the the test, which is greater than 100% of the target sales increase, has, ha has actually happened. So the months now are, are showing me that. If I test the, the yellow test, now we tested it on, we started test on B4. So that means that we tested B4, that means B5 would have to be yellow because it's true. When it's true on the, on the test, that means whatever you've tested has to come up the color of, of the true. So B5 is going to have to be yellow because it's tested true. And there will be other cells along here which will go also go yellow. So let's test it out. Let's escape again. I like the cell range view and affect the color. Conditional formatting. When you've got more than one formula, I'd advise to go to manage cell rules. And then just create a new rule from here. And then formula. Copy it in, control V. Give it the color you want. On this example, it's a yellowy color. So something like that color. That's pretty similar. Okay. Once more, and I can even click apply and see what happens with the box still open. As soon as you click apply, 
I can see where the yellow is applied. And like we said, B5 had to turn yellow because the result was true and the, the test is already tested true. And I can click OK now to close the box down. We can see that when you've got formulas, you can, as long as you've got a true and false result, this can be then copied into the area where you want to apply the conditional format in for any formulas. For a second example, which I'll now demonstrate. So here I've got green, red, and I'll just do the green and red test. So it's it's quite a long formula. It's testing. It's saying this time it's using an if and an O and an and function. So it's saying if the cell B two contains IT skills and E2, which is number of delegates, is greater than or equal to 5, or B2 equals business sales, and E2 is greater than or equal to 5, then show true or show false. So usually an if, when you use it in standard purposes, you want something other than true and false. But for conditional formatting, true and false is all you're looking for. So all we've typed in, show true or show false, according to the test. This has been tested against B2 and E2. And what it's saying is B2 and E2 don't meet this particular criteria. And we can see that because number of delegates is blank. But if we now apply this formula to the, to the whole of the data by copying and pasting, we can see what then will turn green. So I can highlight, copy. I'm just going to press the escape key to come out of the formula. Now highlight the area on a product conditional formatting tool, which is this area in this example. New rule, formula, control V. And then format, I want this format to be green. And now we can see where the green color now the test comes true. So all of the green area now is greater than five, which it is. And it also equals business skills or IT skills. So that's proven true. We'll now do a, one of the true tests. So the red one, we can see they're quite meaty nested functions so to try and write this in the conditional format in formal area with all these inverted with all these commas inverted commas dollar signs it's not easy so this is where the tests really really help so testing areas like I'm, i've used here really do help with conditional format in formulas when they are quite complex like these kind of examples so i'll do another one now i'll copy this formula and this will be the last one I'll just do I'll just show the red as well so we we'll see where the reds are and I'll manage rules new Control V the red I want okay OK, again, apply, and OK. Now, because there's other, other tests, as you keep adding the tests, the different colors then will start overwriting other colors. So I've only tested two. But if I kept on testing, testing, they will all then go according to their own test. So each one, if I went to the yellow, that would then look for the yellow. I'd highlight all the rest, and the yellow would apply and then the white would apply. So for example, the one with blank, which is this one here, and this one in E2, this one, would move, this one would go white because there's nothing in it. So when you keep on copying the test results across, the colors will start changing according to the test that you've set. But this now demonstrates the power of actually creating test areas for conditional format in formulas or functions particularly complex ones like the ones we can see on screen here, 
and then copying them into the formula area of conditional formatting instead of creating them in the conditional formatting formula area because it's a lot of test and a lot of writing a small little box area but when you test it in excel and in a testing area you can then see how how it works make sure you get true and false and then copy so this completes the training video on using testing areas for conditional formatting and then copying it to the conditional formatting formula area if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching